What's up everyone? My name is Josh and this is Josh Unboxed and welcome back to the Daily Grind, a video series in which I like to talk about different sports card plays, different strategies, and even talk about the news in the sports world that has an impact on the sports card market. In a way, I'm trying to help navigate through this craziness that is the sports card market that we're in today. So today, I want to give another play and that is Lonnie Walker of the San Antonio Spurs. I'm a big fan of the guy. I love his game. I think in the San Antonio Spurs system, he has a great opportunity to really become a, a very good player. Um, will he be a superstar? Probably not, but can he string a couple of good games? Most likely. And compared to other players, other hyped up young guys, I still feel that Lonnie Walker's value is low, kind of like a low risk, high reward kind of situation. And you could look at this in one of two ways. You can look to try to buy some of his cards to sell off a little bit later in the year when he strings in a couple, couple good games, or you can buy the raw cards, get them graded, and wait till next year to try to sell off right before the season starts again. Similar to the Marco Fultz, similar to a lot of younger guys that if you believe in for next year, then you can definitely do that kind of play. Based on what I'm seeing here, I think that Lonnie Walker is a great play. If you think about the San Antonio Spurs, they do a great job with their young guys. You know, they have a really, really good system. They have a great eye for talent. You know, they had guys like Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, uh, you know, obviously, you know, the greats, you know, the Derek White, DeJounte Murray, Keldon Johnson, Lonnie Walker, you know, even their other guys from back in the day, like Ime Udoku, as well as, you know, Bruce Bowen, Sean Elliott, you know, they got guys that can really play uh, for their team. You know, and like I said, they had a great, they have a great eye for talent when they, when they draft their players. For one, you know, they drafted Tony Parker late in the first round. They drafted Manu Ginobili in the second round. They got... Uh, Tiago Splitter, you know, who, who was a good player in his own right. You know, Tim Duncan obviously was a great pick. Kawhi Leonard in the middle of the first round, all right? So I really do believe in their scouting staff and them being able to pick the good players that fit their team and fit their system. So I think it's only a matter of time before Lonnie Walker strings over a couple of good games and Popovich is letting them now. He's letting these young guys play and learn and figure out because the Spurs know that in order to be successful over time, they're gonna need these young guys to step up. So they're putting their confidence in these young guys to play. We're gonna go ahead and look into the data. I pulled up the Prism, the Prism cards because obviously Prism is where a lot of people are looking at, but you can obviously put this onto the optics, the selects, you know, those types of cards. But we're gonna go ahead and pull up the screen and we're gonna take a look at the data. All right, first things first, I pulled up the PSA pop report on the card. Um, so you can see here, the base card only has 679 cards graded. PSA 10s are at 335, PSA 9s are at 300. So you're almost looking at a 50% gem rate on this card. Now, when I look at this data, there's a couple of things that pop out to me. One, there's only 679 of the base cards graded, right? So that tells me that for this card, there not everyone got it graded. So a lot of the raw cards, there's actually potential to get those graded and come out as PSA 10s. And with a 50% gem rates, I think you have a good shot of finding a couple of 10s through auctions or through listings on eBay. Um, if you look at the silver, it's pretty much the same. You got 1,173, uh, 633 PSA 10s, which is uh, over a 50% gem rate as well. So there's some pretty good opportunity with Lonnie Walker and getting his cards graded and you know having it ready for next year as well. Um, we're gonna pull up the eBay listings and sold listings. You can see here that this, you know, 995, best offer accepted, a silver here for 50, another base for 650. Obviously this PSA 10 went for 898, which is the orange prism. We got another silver here that went for less than 100, best offer accepted. We got one here for 425. This is actually the one that I bought for $4.25, I thought that was a good deal. Uh, $330 for the 10, even the optic hollows, you see here, PSA 9 for 52, and it goes on and on and on. So um, with Kelton Johnson, there's, uh, Kel John, sorry. With Lonnie Walker, there's a, there's opportunity here. Even this pink ice one, um, this pink cracked ice went for $20. So like I said, I feel like there's a lot of potential in Lonnie Walker. Um, I also pulled up the card ladder details on here. So we have the PSA 10 here, and you can see that the card has dipped. So because of the dip, I think it's a good opportunity to try to buy him on the dip. 
Uh, will it go down more? Possibly. Uh, but will it bounce back up? I think there's a good chance that it will. This is a PSA 9 base that dipped down to $20, but then jumped back up to 30. So you're looking around $30 for that. Uh, I even pulled up the PSA um, 9 silver, which shows a dip here. And then also the PSA 10 silver, which shows a big dip there. So there's a good opportunity for this card, like I said. I'm a big fan of Lonnie Walker. I have him on my fantasy team, <laughs> but you know, like I said, the Spurs, they, they run a good system. Their young guys actually play well um, with the way COVID is right now, with the way this season is turning out with a lot of postponed games and a lot of guys on the safety protocol. There's ample opportunity for these young guys to play. So you, you know, you're looking at Lonnie Walker and Keldon Johnson. These guys are gonna have a lot of opportunity to play as people sit out because of health concerns. So, you know, Lonnie Walker, love the guy. Feel like there's opportunity here. Um, kind of a low risk, high reward, short term and a long term hold. Um, in long term, I mean like, well, I guess you should call it intermediate, I guess. <laughs> um, like a one year kind of thing, wait for next year and see where it goes from there. Uh, you know, you can also apply this to, to Keldon Johnson, but Keldon Johnson cards are already up there. I have to do more research on Keldon Johnson. I love the guy too. So I kind of got to look at his cards and see how it's playing out for him. We just looked at the prism cards, but you can apply this to optic select. I'm a big fan of select. I actually prefer select over prism. Uh, so you can do the select card, select court side is always a good play as well. But that's pretty much it. I like the Lonnie Walker play. I hope you found some value in this. Um, if you did, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I try to do a video every day talking about various things, whether it's a particular play I'm looking at, whether it's a particular strategy that I'm trying to play myself, um, just certain news that pops off and how it affects the sports card market. All ways to kind of help us become much more sound collectors and investors um, to help navigate our way through the sports card market. And I think 2021 is gonna be big. I think it's gonna be big, especially when we get into the fall season for football. And that's a topic that I'm gonna tackle on in a future video. With that being said, my name is Josh, and I'll see you guys in the next video later.